Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Tanner here and welcome back to a new Ninjago video here on the channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about something not really related to Ninjago, but it does have some type of Ninjago relation. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with the recent drama that accumulated around the channel, I don't really uh, blame you guys. It's just mainly on Instagram and uh, that comes courtesy of this person right here who uh, pretty much went ahead and said that I stole an image of his for a thumbnail, which in case you guys are not familiar with that situation, I recently made a video talking about a uh, recent leak regarding season 14 Ninjago villains and the thumbnail in question used an image that originally came from this user. The image was originally something that he had posted however I went ahead and used it uh, transformatively for a thumbnail. Some people might think that that's wrong or morally wrong or whatever but the fact of the matter is morals really don't trump the actual law that I'm protected under. So let's go ahead and take a look at fair use law. Just in case you guys don't really know uh, fair use law is something that protects content creators like myself in order to I guess overcome these certain types of situations. A lot of the times people will go ahead and try to claim that someone has stolen or used something from them even though technically that's not the case. And I've been in situations like this before in case you guys are not familiar. Way back in the day I actually did I guess overcome a case relating to fair use law regarding a thumbnail that had a similar scenario. Somebody got upset that I used an image of theirs in the thumbnail and well again some people might say that that's again morally wrong or whatever. It really doesn't matter if I'm protected under the fair use law which again does state this. So let's go ahead and look at it right now. We will basically just read through it and I'll kind of explain as we go along, just in case you guys are not familiar with this. So again, the full article is online. You can find it very easily. Just Google fair use and you'll find everything like this. But let's go ahead and read some segments that would apply to my case here. So courts look at how the party claiming fair use is using copyrighted work and are more likely to find that nonprofit educational and non-commercial uses are fair. This does not mean, however, that all nonprofit education and non-commercial uses are fair and all commercial uses are not fair. Instead, courts will balance the purpose and character of the use against the other factors below. Additionally, transformative uses are more likely to be considered fair. Transformative uses are those that add something new with a further purpose or a different character and do not substitute for the original use of the work. So the image in question was an image of season 14 Lloyd, which this individual that we mentioned earlier had uh, purchased and taken a photo of. Now technically this would mean that this Instagram user is protected by copyright as this is his image. He took the image so naturally it is his. That's it's just a given. But fortunately for myself, I recognize that transformative use is something that would be considered under fair use. As such, I went ahead and color corrected the photo, both because I wanted it to fall under that transformative section of fair use and the fact that I really didn't care for the original image's colors. To me, they weren't really all that great, so I decided to change them for the purposes of a thumbnail. And also, transformative uses, you know, will add a different purpose. The purpose of having that Lloyd figure in the thumbnail for me was because I wanted to go ahead and show that, hey, we got a full look at season 14 Lloyd. It's not me saying, hey, I bought this figure, come look at it, because that was the purpose of the original post. The original user bought the figure on eBay a little early and decided to take a picture of that to show that he had got it and show the actual full image of that figure. I did not show any of the actual images in the video itself for this very reason. I never do that due to copyright claims, um, and I really just don't feel like falling into that, uh, that, I guess, trap again where the video gets claimed, all that kind of stuff. So not only was the image uh, color corrected to make it transformative in a physical sense, Sense, the actual, I guess, character of the image is also different, with the overall use of the thumbnail not being the same as the use of the original picture. It holds a totally different purpose, and it is very different in terms of physical structure. Color correction, all that kind of stuff, falls under transformative fair use law, so I am protected by that. Let's take a look at another article here. Fair use is a legal doctrine that promotes freedom of expression by permitting the unlicensed use of copyright protected works under certain circumstances. Section 107 of the Copyright Act provides the statutory framework for determining whether something is fair use and identify certain types of uses such as criticism, comment, news, reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research as examples of activities that may qualify under fair use. Section 107 calls for consideration of the following four factors in evaluating a question of fair use. So obviously the article goes into that even further and you can go ahead and find the link to that. I'll put it in the description as well and in the pinned comment you'll be able to find it there. But essentially again this protects me even further because criticism, commenting, news reporting, that's what I do on this channel and news reporting is something that I was doing doing in this video. Reporting on the news, reporting on the fact that this figure does indeed exist and you can go ahead and find it, and overall that proves even further that fair use is protecting me in this situation. Now some of you guys might be questioning in the moral high ground here. Uh, some people think that it's not okay to use images or some people think that I should have given credit. The fact of the matter is that most of the time I don't really need to give credit. The only time I will give credit is if it's actual, you know, like drawings and artwork, stuff like that, but most of the time I work closely with artists 
So overall, there's not really an issue there. I credit them regardless. Obviously, I don't really need to give credit by law. And again, that similar case that I had won previously a couple years back, it was the same scenario there. Technically, credit does not need to be given in order to constitute fair use law. However, a lot of people still think I should have given credit. So I did. I went ahead on my Instagram and gave credit to the original user. Again, that wasn't necessary of me, but even so, the actual credit was given. So I need to ask, what more can I do here? Obviously this case isn't that serious, it's just something that a lot of content creators deal with on a common day-to-day -day basis, and people like myself that report on Ninjago News and have a close connection with this community, yeah, I think it's safe to say that overall this community needs to learn a little bit more about fair use and what it entails, and overall I do feel like uh, showing this to you guys was beneficial, because I feel like a lot of people will understand, and the people that don't understand are clearly in the minority here. So just overall, just wanted to make this video talking about fair use law a little bit more and how it applies to my content and what I do, and again, apologize Apologies go out to anybody who was negatively affected by this. My goal isn't to start drama here. My goal is to go ahead and try to explain my side of the situation and make sure that people know that I am technically protected under the fair use law. Again, there's not really much else I can do about that. So, and again, apologies to the original user on Instagram. Again, uh, you can go ahead and find the picture down below in the description. I'm not so sure if I should just start doing that in general for people whose images I use, even though I am protected, but maybe we will create a situation like that later on. But for the time being, that's pretty much all I have to say in this video here, so thanks a lot for watching. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and check out the links down below in the description for my other forms of social media. As always, big shout out goes out to my Patreon supporters, including once again, the Marvelous Jan. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Once again, my name is Tanner Fishies, and with that, I bid you farewell.